The round table. Gentlemen. Aye. Let's broaden our minds. Lay on, gentlemen, and let them know what's what. Fire at will. It's time for action, gentlemen. Gentlemen of the round table. What's the topic of discussion? Civility, gentlemen. All with oh. civility. Wow. Ed Larson, E D L A R S O N. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! I'm fat! Big fat Ed! Are we? Big fat, dumb, pig head, ham head Ed! He is dumb and fat. <laughs> <laughs> He's not here. Yeah, baby. I love it. He's not fucking here, girl. Fuck you, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> What's the dumbest thing you've seen Ed do? Wait, wait. Let's, let's get. Start. Well, let's. <laughs> let's it's Mother's Day. First, and then the, it's Mother's Day. Come on, Holly. Right, better so, to start us off with the prayer. So we can do. Uh, you want me to say this to the prayer uh, for Mother's Day? Guided meditation. Please. Okay. Um. Uh, before I start, I just fucking love this day, and there's something special. I kind of gave myself a little bit of caboose juice this morning. What is that? Enema. It's, it's like a spritzer behind. Uh-huh. And uh, mommy, <laughs> I mean, you talk about dreams, and you talk about s- when you sleep, what you dream about, and it's very oh, Freud was. A, I would love to fucking rip Freud's dick off, and mm-hmm. fucking f- feed it, feed it to mommy. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Your gut I'm sorry. I'm sorry to you get you through, through this. Cut this the, this is a personal. All right, fine. Everyone, close your eyes for a gut of meditation. You're fucking the shit out of your mom. And <laughs> I'm sorry. Mother's Day. I'm sorry. You're you're fine. make make lick. Uh, and now is today is the day we get. We're, you're gonna get married to her, and you go grow old with her. And she goes back to the day that she looked in those beautiful wedding pictures that you fondle late in the evening when you go home. I always, when I go home, I, uh, you can open your eyes for a second. When I go home, <laughs> I'm sorry if this has to fucking come out of me. I'm so juiced today over this. <laughs> I always say, give me the picture books, mommy. Give me the picture books. And she usually says something cute like yummy. <laughs> like yummy, <laughs> yummy Holden. You know, it's one of our pet names. <laughs> All right. Anyway, close your eyes. You're, you know, you finish. I mean, you can't, there's no way to describe the amount of like fucking liquids and shit strewn about the room. Uh, it's a champagne Sunday, mommy, and we're all here with you. <laughs> we're all with her right now. And it's my mom, it's Henry's mom. Jackie has the same mom. Anyways, uh, uh, I love you and welcome to the round table of gentlemen. I love Happy my mom. Happy Mother's Day. This is Happy, good. That was yeah. nice. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> the beautiful message. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Kevin, your face was thoroughly disgusted the entire time. Oh, yeah, man. I don't know how you live with yourself every day. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the round table, everybody. Who is everybody around here crunching on the chips? Jackie Zabrowski, I like chips. Mm. <laughs> Henry Zabrowski, chips makes for good radio. Wow, mm. it's the chip siblings. I, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sitting in for big, fat, dumb Ed. Yeah, <laughs> stupid Ed. He's at a ham festival getting fitted for a pig costume. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing to follow. I got, I, got, I got nothing to follow that with. I'm holding. Oh, <laughs> Kevin Barnett. I'm Big Gizzle. Uh, Eddie's friend is here uh, with us joining Meatball. Thanks for being here, Meatball. Well, my pleasure, definitely. Absolutely. You've known Eddie since he was 13 years old. Uh, around then, yeah, middle school. I'm so excited. I can't wait for you to tell us stories about it. His when he was fat as a kid. I've got. I actually have a really good one. Awesome. That, uh, I think you guys are gonna enjoy. <laughs> well, let's throw it first to Marcus News, man. What do you got for us, buddy? <laughs> this uh, story is out of England. Uh, Ooh, this nice. is a uh, oh, Yorkshire. Oh, the sea. Oh, I've got tea in my pocket. <laughs> my bad teeth is making my mouth all cut off. Oh, up. British time. Who's <laughs> Fowler back with his bad teeth? This is uh, from <laughs> like Yorkshire, in the uh, north of England. <laughs> An ex policeman and former director of the Great Yorkshire Show, which I have been informed is a show about how awesome Yorkshire is. Ah! Was <laughs> jailed. Yorkshire is great show, right? Yeah. Think about it. Ah. <laughs> he was jailed for two and a half years today after he admitted filming a man having sex with a pony. <laughs> Two and a half years? That's it? And uh, might I, I'm going to make sure everyone knows not a horse, 
A pony. <laughs> a tiny nice. little pony. It's like extra perverted. It, and <laughs> was it was it like a comedy spoof? Was it like uh, what John Waters? Uh, it was somebody yeah, It was the, it was full on bestiality. Bestiality yeah, pedophilia. It was yeah. like, <laughs> a, uh, exactly. like a political satire. Oh, I'm not done yet. The man's name. Charles Little Boy. <laughs> <laughs> so he's a small guy. He could only get a pony. He can't ride a horse. There's no way. He was 55. He made the video in his stables while the man was supposedly taking part in an animal breeding practical course. I would love if the whole thing was set to the soundtrack of the song Dig a Pony by the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fun. I, what are the... Uh, wh okay, I'm a little confused on bestiality and the law. Uh -huh. What is the deal with that? You cannot do that. Yeah, you, you can't, can't do it? You anywhere can't do it. You, Every you sexual thought you have is illegal. Hold on. All right. <laughs> Arkansas. Legal. Legal? Yeah. Okay, there illegal. you go. See, that's There's what no I was asking. no way. No, it was they, only made illegal. They have a horse for mayor there. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is completely true. The Bestiality was Arkansas. only made illegal in Texas in 2009, 2010. Wow. What about yeah. a dead However, animal? A dead animal, that's fine. What about, what about the Montauk monster? You can fuck it. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Texas was the last state to overturn the sodomy laws, so you could not fuck a dude in the ass, but you could fuck a pony in its sweet pony pussy. Well, what about sheep? You can fuck a sheep. You can fuck a sheep, sure. but you and, can't fuck and, a pony. Pony and no. sheep are the same. In my head. Well, I think I mean, they're, wrong. They're, they are different animals. They're different animals, but fuck factor, I would as <laughs> just as much <laughs> fuck a sheep as I would fuck a pony. Never a horse. Too big. I mean, Paul, what do you got to say about that? I mean, I guess a, sh a sheep would be softer you know, you know, no, 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 no. Like, ponies are soft. The thing is, is that you think that the cotton is, <laughs> is soft once it's processed. When it's just on a sheep, it's all bristly. It's like having sex with a giant men's beard. Man, these are, <laughs> the insides are all the same, just like fucking know, a man. corpse. I yeah. imagine a horse pussy is much more tough. Just yeah. you know, you don't well think it's ran. juicy at all. Well, what, if it, what if it kicks, right? Because that's uh, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of things to worry yeah, that's about. That's why you tie it down. Yeah. You tie it down and you fuck it while it's on the ground. <laughs> this is good. This is <laughs> yeah. Yeah. really this. Uh, this pony uh, was kind of standing still. I think the pony was used to the abuse, but here is more. I mean, is it abuse for the pony? Though? Look at this pony; it's ready to fuck. The pony, the pony was coming. You know, rarely does a woman be like, "Oh, he raped me. He raped me. I had three orgasms." The pony came. How do you it, know the pony? Because <laughs> the, the pony, pony comes. Came. The pony. If, if there's no money shot at the end of a pony porn, I just fucking spent fifty dollars at the wrong goddamn head shop. <laughs> here is uh, more information about Charles Little Boy. Uh, <laughs> it gets creepier. <laughs> <laughs> Police discovered the video along with a stash of images of horrific sexual abuse of young boys. Well, oh, there you go. That's the ticket. That's, that's the, the hot the ticket cake there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, That's a yeah. surprise <laughs> pedophile <laughs> corner. <laughs> oh, surprise hey there, pedophile kid. corner hey right there, at the top. Kid, come in my van. I thought we were doing the pedophile corner. Da, 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 hey there, kid, come in my Ed? van. I miss Ed. You know where he is. Ed loves pedophile corner. He just Immediately jumps right into it. And here is uh, here's the kicker about Charles Little Boy. Pony, literally. He's a former member of the British Potato Council. <laughs> oh yeah, it was, uh, it was him. It was Dr. Mengele. It well, was <laughs> Mr. Potato Head. You know, um, and they all fucked horses. It's, it's a yeah. it's a slippery slope. You start with potatoes, you work your way up to the horse. We've known this yeah. for decades. I mean, <laughs> once you mash ponies. them, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Mash a potato, stick your dick in it. Yeah. So the the song the hokey pokey is actually about fucking a, fucking, fucking a ball a of mashed potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> Stick your left foot in. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think if you're going to fuck any sort of food, uh, mashed potatoes is probably the best thing to fuck. Make a little pussy what out of it. Or yeah. Ball. What's What are we talking? Best food? Jello. Yeah, you can mold no, it. No, 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 no consistency. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the thing. You cut a hole in a roast beef. Uh, <laughs> no, too yeah, hard. That'd be pretty good. I really think mashed potatoes might be really great. No, nah, me, me sandwich. personally, I go potato salad, man. Just oh, that, yeah, yeah. I agree. It's got some grit. Yeah, it's got to be yeah, hot, exactly. though. It's like yeah, you yeah. ask no, the chick to hot. use her teeth. Warm. Warm. Yeah. Warm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you just mash it up with your hands before you stick your dick in. That's how you get it warmed up. Do you think that, uh, by the way, I am not going to the Memorial Day barbecue with any of you <laughs> fucking disgusting people? Do you think that Mr. Little Boy jerked off to My Little Pony? He might have. He loves children. He loves ponies. Imagine a child pony. He must immediately well, come. A pony is a child horse. Well, here's, no, a he, pony is a pony. Here's what Mr. Little Boy's <laughs> attorney said, or 
Barrister, as they call him in England. Nice Can wig. That right there? Is a pony just a baby horse? No. No, no, no. A pony's a, pony's a, a small pony. horse. It's a small horse. It's no, a full grown. No, a pony's a baby horse. No, a yeah. pony no, no, no. is a full grown horse. No, a horse. colt is a baby horse. And it's also, oh, but I yeah. thought, uh, no, 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 no. A pony is a fuck ponies his whole life. I think Marcus yeah, knows. Yeah, know I think I know. I know horses better than you do, Mister Queen. Different pictures of animals. You've seen. Henry is smart in ponies. Yeah. He's not learned in the way. Of ponies. I love having no ma'am. No ma'am. <laughs> it would be better if you liked cults if you just loved young things. Mm. What's nice. a foal? A foal <laughs> is a baby deer. No, no, no a, that is a female. A, horse. a foal is a fawn. female yeah, uh, horse. Baby horse. So a pony's just a tiny horse? A pony's yeah, just it's a, a tiny horse. Yeah. yeah, it's like a little fucking, you know, dinklage. It's like how a mule is different, but <laughs> yeah, also a smaller than a horse. Nice. But a, a mule bit. is a type of donkey. No, no a that's a googie boogie. Dogs. <laughs> oh, oh, no, it's a googie boogie. Mule, a mule is a cross between a horse and a donkey, also sterile. Interesting. Did yes. Know what happens yeah. if you make a horse mate with a bunch of bees? <laughs> <laughs> it's the a worst, honey bear. The worst thing to fuck is a bunch of bees. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's definitely. I think the we can all agree on that. Fuck. Potato salad's high on the list. Bees are not. <laughs> yeah. What do you think he used though? To, like coax him into the van, you know? Or does he have like? Is there a different? Not like the white van. The kids there... or the ponies? Yeah, I was about to say hay. A lot of hay. <laughs> <laughs> is there like the, the the bestiality pedophilia like equivalent of the white van? <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? It's <laughs> <laughs> a like, small, sterile, like, like beautiful stables. Hi. It's a stable full of like sweet carrots. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I want to go there. That I nice. have, I actually have an answer for you. Wow. Uh, whatever I was saying earlier, this is what uh, little boys lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> little boy. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is what his lawyer life. said uh, about the man and the pony. Although, uh, I'm going to say this in an accent. Although it is difficult and unpleasant thought, there was a willingness on the part of both of them. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> totally. Ponies love to fuck. Yeah, ponies are sluts. Yeah. Everyone knows that. Yeah. I don't... I mean, chickens are frigid. He got two and a half... <laughs> yeah. Chickens are total they fucking prudes. Days, man. You can't just fuck a chicken. Everybody no, it's knows. always like, ooh, ooh. I'm a chicken. <laughs> Badgers just want to lock you down. I think uh, it's weird that he got, he got two and a half years for the pony fucking, but nothing with the kids. Uh, not yet. I mean, they they haven't gone for uh, any kind of a prosecution on the child abuse. That comes up next. But he downloaded images of child abuse from the internet and engaged in depraved discussions with fellow pedophiles. In one conversation read out by the prosecution, little boy discussed sexually abusing a baby with a writer known as Pervy Dwayne. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Stephen King's son, pen name. Pervy Dwayne. Uh, and, uh, Jesus. Uh, Is that like everybody knows him as that? Or who? Now that yeah, was his that internet. Internet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You never like, heard of those? Boy, that? don't you know go that? over there. That's where Pervy Dwayne lives. Yeah, Pervy Dwayne's moon pies for the rich. Uh, yeah, they're good. Yeah, it just makes wonderful diamond studded gold glazed <laughs> moon pies. Tastes like pony cum. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Yeah, and little boy asked Pervy Dwayne, tell me what you would do to a young one and how sick you would like it to be. I don't oh. know. Man. Oh, no. <laughs> then why did they even talk about ponies? Forget about the ponies. Yeah, the ponies are nice. Yeah, this, this guy does. That's ridiculous. You know what I think about Pervy Dwayne, though? I think Pervy Dwayne <laughs> was probably like a cop like masquerading as a pedophile. Oh, definitely. Because uh, look now, because look at the CIA guy who went into Al Qaeda yep. and like bought you the know, underwear bomb. Bought, I don't know what bought Abercrombie and, and Fitchy his, walked into. It's kind of crazy. He bought but it. Then well, I'm sorry, Dwayne, can you give the background on that? What is the uh, underwear bomb? What's this going on? Bi the big, the big you don't know about this stuff, hold on. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very big story. It's a big news story. Does it have to, yeah, if it, does, the, it has to do with my mom or not? Uh, no, <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, no, no. no, 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 no. no. the fuck no. would I know? Yeah, it's true. it's true. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm, you're right. <laughs> but uh, the, the CIA busted this, like, sort of underwear bomb going onto a plane, like, like from Al-Qaeda, like, a long time ago when the guy had the underwear bomb and he looked like an asshole. It was a big, dumb, like... Well, you shouldn't seat. wear it yeah. on your head. I mean, that's really what... The that's the thing. <laughs> and he's just like... <laughs> Jesus Everybody Christ look at Henry. me! Look at me! Um, that's not how we got on the fucking plane. <laughs> I'm just saying. But that's I'm, not how we did it, though. People just need to be more careful. Right. <laughs> um, is that uh, really the moral of that, that story? Yeah. That's it? That's the There's so much like, more to the story. Play, play. Yeah. Henry, well, so, just so you know, uh, little boy, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he was a police officer in the 80s. 
Oh, oh, oh so he knew all the ins and outs of yeah. Tony Love. Of fucking boys. And, and uh, upon further uh, reading of the article, he got two and a half years for both the pony filming the pony, f- pony fucking and the pedophilia. That's it. What? Two and a half years. That fucking and they, chick who shot the who shot the ceiling with a shotgun because her abusive husband was about to get in in Florida got twenty years. Yeah, man, England oh. is just the playland for child rapists. If I liked kids, I'm moving to England. Huh? That sounds like a wonderful place what? to diddle. Yeah, yeah, it's your yeah diddling. Diddling, yeah. that's what uh, they call it. Diddling. That's why it's only yeah. two and a half years. Yeah, diddling. Oh, just a little bit of diddle in your pocket. Oh, just a little bit of diddle. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys ever have you guys ever watched British porn? No. It is yeah. awful. Well, the big thing is... Because they're always like, oh, sorry, sorry, touch the love, uh, sorry. No, sorry. no, no, no. That's, uh, we were watching uh, this thing uh, last night called The Dark Side of Porn. Mm. Uh, it was a BBC uh, type of documentary, and they followed That's a fun. porn virgin. Is that on Netflix? No, 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 no. Uh, it's something I downloaded the from The glint in your eye part. was like two lasers. Oh, I love, yeah, I love <laughs> that. Yeah. Yeah. You still and there download was, porn? Huh? No, 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 no. It was a BBC program. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, there was, uh, they showed like a gangbang scene with these two girls, and one of them was like a 38 year old woman, very sad. And more <laughs> than once, I heard someone say, like, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, pardon me. They were just like, struggling for a foot position. That's yeah. probably why this dude loved pony porn. Ponies don't fucking apologize. You yeah. know, <laughs> pony just goes in there Keep and gets them it done. shut. Also, yeah. boys don't apologize either because they don't know what they're doing is wrong. It's not wrong. It's Maybe. making them come. Yeah. I mean, it's also, wrong to the woman. Will, I yeah. think British porn stars also, like, kind of, you know, just some of that, like, you know, ours are, are pretty trashy on the, on the whole, you know, just are, especially the, the low level porn stars, you know, like, yeah. not porn stars. Let's just say, let's just say fuck actresses. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, fucking, a, for a, fucking for a whopper. But I think that British people kind of oh, show man, the skank I? a little bit clearer. <laughs> well, they, they were so, like, because it showed, like, the making of and all that, and they kept saying, the word willy, well, like, oh, Ugh. he couldn't. He couldn't get his willy odd. Uh, oh my like, uh, oh, uh, god! Really like everything, you're not a like fucking pony. All the direction that they yeah, gave that, was that, just that like that screams like it's like a penis little bow tie around yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> hey there, Running everybody! Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I can't oh, wait to put me in. Don't put me I in. Can't wait to be in there. there. <laughs> 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 Looking at oh, you like a fucking here's, eating goldfish. Here's a. Uh, I love. Like to me, this is the most British quote out of everything. This is from the judge who carried out the sentence, he said, What you all failed to present to appreciate is the utter humiliation and degradation of the victims of your crimes, both human and animal. And pony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did say and or animal. Or young horse, and then the, uh, the lawyer the, was... Imagine the dignified trot of a young pony forever dashed by the sulling of a madman. <laughs> the way this pony wasn't going getting high hooves all over high hooves all over fucking town. He fucked the chick. If you fuck a chicken, you're a pony. You're the champion of all the ponies, aren't you? Yeah. Also, the thing is that don't what, am I ponies. Wrong? No, I'm, I'm down with it. Don't. Why? Don't. <laughs> why? No. Dude, you're supposed to. If you if you were a pony and you fucked a horse with like big stinky udders, then you are udders. Then you're the dumb horse. Have udders. Yes. Oh, don't have udders. Yes. You fucking okay. udders. I have. I have decided now that you have a very limited knowledge of animal okay. biology. So Go the to horse, a farm. The horse is a thing. Kevin, that's like would really you care tall, to right? comment yeah, on please. Henry's knowledge of biology? I mean, he's doing real well. <laughs> <laughs> It's ridiculous. <laughs> fucking udders. You can't fucking udder. You can squeeze an udder. You can fuck udder. You can fuck fucking udder. udder. You can hold two udders together. Yeah, and udder fuck. Fuck. Like a <laughs> fuck. Yeah, yeah. Udder fuck. I imagine that feel quite good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's all the time you can oh, be good. Spray <laughs> some milk. Quite good. Spray some milk on your dick. Yeah, and, yeah. And squirting milk. Udder. Squirting milk in your dick. Squirting in your mouth the whole time. <laughs> Utter, lo- utter loving. Okay, utter well loving. let's utter let's utter mo- loving. let's utter move loving. on. To, let's utter move on to utter Australia, utter please. Ugh, another and- colony of fucking rapists. <laughs> <laughs> An allegedly psychopathic doctor who tried to kill his own patients may finally lose his job after four (laughs) years of complaints. Oh my. The doctor, whose name hasn't been released, killed at least two elderly patients by unplugging them in a hospital and had to be physically restrained from killing more. But that's not (laughs) killing. Yeah, was that like a good thing? He's just gonna lose his job. That's it. Yeah, that's it. May. May lose his job. May. May. Quite possibly. (laughs) Is it killing if you unplug somebody who can't, like, if you can't live on your own, why? Are yes. you alive? Yes, it's killing. Yeah, but if why? you end someone's life, it's killing. It, he didn't end their life. He just gave them the opportunity to survive on their own. It has to be like in, they have to. Someone's got to say, "Kill it." 
No, man. But you don't, uh, after you 50, you don't want to be alive anyway. You might as well just end it. I think everyone should just end it. Yeah, That's what's true. the policy here? What are you doing? What's in the will, Henry? What are you doing with uh, you're on the life support? Who's who's turning? No, the they'll never pull the plug. You never pull the plug. No, no, pull no, the no. Fucking keep plug. Me keep me alive forever. You're not doing anything. You're just oh, well, you freeze be happy. me. Yeah, <laughs> freeze me in Freon. Keep me in on in the fucking ice. The you would just wake up as a vegetable. Yeah. No, 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 no. They could save your brain. No, no one wants when it. Have you never this brain? <laughs> <laughs> when the future happens, there's going to be more. They're going to be able to defrost brains all the time. It's you're weird. really, it's you true, really man. put way too much faith in the nanobots. Uh, there's because way too. Well, I mean, once there are overlords, once we are <laughs> nanobots, then yeah. we'll all understand. Clearly, none of y'all haters have seen Futurama. That shit is possible. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, like wait, most of my he science. He forgot research. to cure his bonitis and still died. Yep. Listen, man. I don't, I don't just appreciate I, anything you're saying. No. <laughs> just, there is no difference between Henry's actual life and the person who is uh, a coma in, in a coma. Other if than you could the, just other, stick other a fucking plug. jack in my head that plays movies in front of my you're eyes. Not gonna do that. They'll gonna, figure it out. Why would they treat you well? Because I'll be a fucking quadrillionaire. A quadrillionaire. Of billions and billions and billions of dollars. Sounds like you're point. a billionaire. I'm putting in my will. I'm going to have it. Wait five years. Someone who looks just like me, dresses like me, comes in. I'm from the future. And then turns me off. <laughs> I think that's kind of what it is. Like, it's okay. Like, I came back, but it's like, we don't need this one anymore. I'm and giving that, it eight weeks. Eight weeks? Yeah. In eight a weeks? Coma? Yeah. No, no, not in a coma. If I'm in a vegetative state, give me eight weeks. Done. But you wait those eight weeks, you don't know when you might. What if nine at nine weeks you'd about to pull out of that and become a famous soccer player? Yeah, what about that? That's a good point. What if you never just let one go? Funny Ben Kissel joke away from coming back. But here's a, here's what this dude in Australia did. Uh, they said uh, the doctor was while. trying to cover up his, cover up his incompetence and quote might kill you if he took a dislike to something you did or said. Lots more patients would have died if the doctors had not gone around and turned them back on. This so th fucking coma patient keeps saying fuck you with his eyelids. <laughs> yeah. So this guy just wandered around a hospital and just kept turning off life support. I love Damn. it. Wow. I agree with this decision. It costs the state thousands and millions of dollars to fucking support these goddamn vegetables all year. Turn off the light. It's like when my dad used to go around the house shutting all the lights off in the house because of the bill. Yeah. Then again, saving though, money. Now that I think, I know, I know what that is like now, man. I fucking this happened to me this week, and I know what it's like to be. I had sleep paralysis. If y'all have had that I before, I've heard of it. It sounds yeah. it's the most so terrifying, terrifying shit I've seen on the it. earth. Yeah. Like I just like because like I, I haven't slept like all week, and then so Saturday, you know, I, I still only slept like three hours at night. What were you doing all week? Just fucking just running ragged, man. Just working and going to shows and trying to go home and do whatever. Uh, and being sleeping successful. like successful. Yeah, yeah. I slept great. <laughs> I slept great all week. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, but it's like Saturday. I tried to take a nap for like two hours, and then I woke up in the middle of my nap. Like my eyes opened, but my entire body couldn't move. Like I was just sitting there like this, and I couldn't move the whole time with my hand just to the side like this, sleeping on my side. And the craziest part about it was, I felt like there was somebody standing over me. Like some oh! like, it felt like there was someone standing right That's here behind my head, and I couldn't look back to see where he was. And I just. It was whispering some like demonic shit. I what couldn't did understand. it say to you, it man? Like, it was saying some shit like that. What? It was yeah, 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 yeah. It was like Woo! that. And I was like, what the fuck? It was the most terrifying That's shit. Awful. And it wasn't like I was dreaming because my eyes were open the whole time and I was like trying to move and I couldn't move for like three minutes. And when I well, finally see, could move, my eyes, I just moved and I was just, like looking around. Like, oh, That's not more. sleep paralysis. That? You have a demon in your yeah, You have a fucking no, demon. No, no, no. Because that's what like, yeah. apparently it can be genetic. And um, I talked, my cousin came over and uh, I was talking to him about it. I was just describing it, thinking it was some crazy shit and like I, I literally thought I died like I thought I was like damn I was oh, trying man. to remember as I was paralyzed what I did to kill myself see that's why you there. shouldn't be a Christian <laughs> <laughs> it's good no, the like, Lord saved him I talked to my cousin and uh, he was just like he's like man he's like dude I've had that shit before he's like sleep paralysis man we go look it up first thing I see when we looked it up is a demon standing at the edge of the bed Get like the that's a fucking common here. thing get out Kevin crazy. I mean it's true it's, it's a lot like the movie Insidious oh, it followed from so the father good. oh my god yeah it's great dude, I mean is it sleep paralysis? Do you think there was something actually in the room? You felt it? I don't know it was what fucking the saying fuck shit that to was. You? Yeah, I felt something like there was something standing right there. Well, I, I know didn't... maybe sleep paralysis is genetic, but uh, also demons tend to follow family members around and sort of stick with one kind oh, of family. Yeah, think or... about that, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> <Meatball>. <laughs> Any hauntings in your life, Meatball? Other uh, than fucking hoagies and hot dogs? Oh, my God. Every day. <laughs> fuck. Especially, now, especially now when I walk by those uh, those 
those trucks, those food trucks here in New York. <laughs> we, don't, we don't have those like in, in Boston, you know? So, uh, although we do have the sausage guys over by Fenway. So those, uh, those, those. This is those, great. Those, I just want to. I want to hear you me. talk about this for hours. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the hot dogs next to Fenway. <laughs> they, they, they're actually they're pretty. They're pretty good. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, next up, a Minnesota woman was arrested this week after shaving her daughter's head and forcing her forcing her to pick up garbage and do wind sprints wearing nothing but a tank top and a diaper. Who's garbage? <laughs> wow. Jesus. That's brutal. Was it someone else's garbage? Yeah. No, it, oh, it was other people's garbage she had her pick up? Yeah, she dubbed it diaper duty. Well, what did like she do wrong? <laughs> uh, she had bad grades. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, then yeah. Sounds Humiliation. Like, yeah, is that, that's she, I mean, that it just sounds like a good plan. You yeah, got she's going to get grades, better grades Get now. out there and sprint. Get quick. Get this football <laughs> money. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, Stephanie, do we want to get a B or do we want to do double diaper duty? This week? <laughs> It's just like the stocks, man. It's all about humiliation. Humiliation into yeah, doing the better. The stocks worked. But that's what, terrible. That's what I think they should do to like the quote-unquote like Wall Street criminals. I, I think you know I don't believe in anything, but I really think that a lot of these guys need to be fucking you dragged. Believe in nothing. You, nothing. No, absolutely nothing. But I think that uh, these people need to be dragged out into the street and have their pants taken off and fucking spank them. Spank them in fucking Times Square. Like take Warren or Buffett. Or make them do like the helicopter like with their penis. Like shake her. Yeah. Oh yeah, just be like shake your tiny. Penis, Warren Buffett. Shake your fucking tiny penis. Warren Buffett's fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, Warren, Warren, Buffett's, yeah, Warren Buffett's, Buffett's one of the good ones. It's the only name I know. Yeah. <laughs> In so you just want, so you don't want like prison for them. You want a public spanking. Yes, I want to take the fat cats, put them, put a little like, put little top hats on them, dress them up in like fancy suit with tails, little pig and just spank, like and spank them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, give them one of those uh, things that you pull uh, the string on it and it folds up. Yeah, tie a bunch bond. of bells to him and like lead him around by a rope. Did the demon that haunted you look at all like that? <laughs> I, I fucking wish I knew. That's the whole point of it. Like, I, 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 I never know what it looks like. Yeah. It's just like all the movies. It's it just, was, you, you just didn't know it was just like this beautiful, big-titted naked woman. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that would be it. That a is giant the, Puerto Rican woman <laughs> with just double teeth. Love this. Uh, by the way, I've had a fucking full-on boner ever since it got nice. The chicks out right now are oh, so no. unbelievable. Oh my God. Tits are bigger than they were. I'm watching chicks take their shirts off. Just fucking, you know, I mean, it's, I mean, they're wearing shit underneath it, God but yeah. it's just so that's, hot. That's probably what he was saying. He's like, titties, titties, get out there. Titties, 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 don't be sleeping. There's titties out there. Can you show me some titties? <laughs> 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 Oh yeah, that's not a demon. That's just the other part of my brain. That's that's me talking to me. I mean, if you're going to be visited by any demon, being visited by the titty demon is all right. Oh, that would be wonderful. What if she was wearing a diaper though? How would you feel then? I guess I she did, she must have not be doing well at school. Yeah, yeah. she got a better demon. I would just say, say if she was nature. wearing a diaper, she's responsible. You don't be shitting yourself in people's house sure, when you are haunting them. The <laughs> You don't have time to stop to go to the bathroom. I mean, that's the thing. She's considerate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she is right. considerate. And imagine how many hours she looked at you and stalked you. She probably had to pee multiple times in there, but you can't leave. The yeah, scare dude. is gone. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So has this changed you? Did you did you like read the Bible immediately afterwards or convert I mean, to Mormonism or anything? This is literally that was that's just the craziest part about how I am. Like I was like, I fucking was the most terrified I've ever been in my entire life. And then as soon as I snapped out of it and I could move, I was like, Oh, that was fucking weird and went back to sleep. I slept part. great. I usually look at Pornhub to fall asleep, but some people get haunted by demons. Everyone's different. I watched Kim Burns Civil War. To fall asleep. Oh man, talk yeah. about going to sleep. Yeah. I've I've watched four hours of National that. Parks, dude. Oh, that man. does it even better, dude. National Parks is fucking Trees. Civil Sounds. War though, it's just like Rocks. and then they died. Uh, and yeah. then they Fall. It's a fun yeah, time here fine. at the war. Send my love to mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's all the, the letters, you know. Oh, yeah. I yeah. Lost my arm today. <laughs> not bad, though. Not bad. <laughs> not too bad. <laughs> Drink some whiskey, though. Drink some whiskey. It. No, it's all. Hey there, Chucky. Go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. okay. You just go to sleep. Abraham Lincoln, you put me to sleep. But, you know, the Civil War is like every Stephen King novel. It's like, oh, great read. Full of blood, full of guts. And then ends terribly. Except it's you know, not it's full like, of blood and full of guts. Oh, yeah. That's Show up. Thing. Appomattox. Uh, no. Yeah. Sir, there Gettysburg, are certain battles. Antietam. There are certain battles that don't, definitely are. But the rest of it, it's like there is... 
12 hours of documentary of this. When you're watching, it's like, oh, and then all these people died. They didn't yeah. fight anybody, but they were sick. We spent <laughs> and then there's this other battle. It wasn't really a battle, but they got sick. Yeah, hold on <laughs> we spent sick. 10 hours walking, walking to the place where we have to walk more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So boring. I just I imagine. I want to watch World War II. I want to watch people get slaughtered go, 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 to death go, 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 go. nothing. Yeah. That's what I want World War II was for something. No, it's oh, just, give me a break. Black hand piece of shit. Black hand? It's what? World War I. <laughs> what the fuck is that? World War I. <laughs> okay, what is Black Hand anyway? Black Hand is the organization of Black Hand. Those are the people that assassinated the Archduke Ferdinand that started Thank World you. War One. Yeah. Edit this out. It's too wow. smart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's too smart. Too it's historical. Too I don't show. like it. I don't That's like where we're going. going. Next up. Police arrested a mother on Thursday for allegedly having a sexual relationship with a 16-year-old boyfriend of her daughter, which resulted in a son. That is, uh, that is a porno. That's that is awesome. a porno. Why are all the stories involving children and fucking today? Because that's what it's all about, man. It's loving the kids. Yeah. It's Mother's Day. 16-year-old boys, you know, that's not that's the like child. almost a man. Yeah, no, that's yeah. really a dude. Yeah. I had you back hair, but... Have a 16-year-old <clears throat> lately, though? As an adult now, a 16-year-old is just like, duh. I, I, oh, oh. But it's Titties. like getting a. It's like if you put peanut butter in That's your vagina, bad. you can get a dog to lick it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's how they're mm. going to get Katy Perry to act in the next film <laughs> she's in. She's, yeah, she's going to be an actress yeah. now. They'll never <laughs> stop. <laughs> just like the horse from Mr. Ed. <laughs> or, or what, John Littleboy? Was that the... No, no, no. no. This Mr. is uh, uh, Mayra... <laughs> Please. This Charles is, uh, Littleboy. It was Charles Chuck, Littleboy. Chucky Littleboy. Yeah. Chucky why, Littleboy. Why is it always peanut butter? Isn't there a different... I mean, isn't there other options? Because peanut butter is hard to get off. Yeah, they just got to really work at it. Horses and horses love peanut butter. I mean, you could just zap it with, like, a couple of broken electrical cables... <laughs> That'll make its mouth kind of like, oh, 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 God, damn. zat, 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 zat. But they decided, like, after, in 1918, when all the horses died. Where's Ed? Hey, it's Ed! <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing for Mother's Day, Ed? Uh, man, I don't know, but I need shoes for my big feet. <laughs> you got shoes for your big feet. You got to get those shoes. Those feet are really big. Oh, they're so big, smelly. Yeah, man. <laughs> we got him, man. We oh, fucking got him. Man. Good, Every fucking time, man. Oh, dude. Just sit in this chair. He is it's, fat. This chair has a dent in it. Yeah, it's yeah, nice it's though. So I feel, I feel so really dumb. at home. Yeah. yeah, we all know it. I mean, everyone could agree that Ed is so fat and so dumb. He Straight is stupid. Weight, man. Yeah. <laughs> Straight weight. I like it. Oh yeah, me, Paul. What's the story with uh, Ed? What you? Uh, you yeah. So this sixteen-year-old boy. We were just talking about him. You you've known Eddie since he was thirteen. Yeah. This. I mean, okay. It was a little bit. Maybe sixteen or seventeen. Um. It's. I think it's maybe my favorite Eddie story. Oh, we, we got to hear it. We had a we had a group of maybe like twenty of us that we would always get together. It was a it's a real tight knit group of friends. Tight knit of twenty. Yeah, it was it was pretty crazy. We had a, it, every day like we'd sit together at lunch, and everybody had their own little quirks. And Can we you had just this call Eddie fat really quick? Eddie, Eddie's fat. Yeah. <laughs> fat, fat, <laughs> fat, Thank you. Fat Ed. He was wait, He was he was still fat, but he had but he had short like buzz hair, yeah. so it looked like really weird because his head was kind of small. <laughs> his body was still really big. Ah. Like, like now he's got the longer hair, so it kind of evens out the proportions. You know. He's so fat. Yeah. He doesn't so, have a back half of his head. That's what's really weird. It's only in front. <laughs> it's the, I, yeah, okay. I guess I saw that. So yeah, gonna, I, I remember. I remember that. Fat Eddie. So you're fat Ed. Yeah. So uh, we. So we had. We we had this. This was the first and actually last annual uh, gathering of all these guys to get together, and we had this. You know, we thought it would be great. 16, 17, 18, whatever. We're like, oh, we're gonna get. We're gonna get a, a dancer. We're gonna get a stripper to come over to this party. And she walked in. This woman walked in. Oh my god! She she walked in to like twenty seventeen year old dudes Ugh. salivating, Ugh. and she was it was like immediate, uh, you know, psychosis. I mean, she was just she went in a room and sat there for forty minutes. It was bad. Um, Wait, she had like a breakdown. She had like a breakdown. Was she like what? crying because yeah. Ed was too fat? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and she saw him, and she got scared and ran. Oh my god, the Stay Plus Marshmallow Man is real, <laughs> <laughs> and he's so, fatter than I imagined. <laughs> so she, she uh, so she goes in this room for forty minutes. Eventually, somebody talks her out. We get her to do a keg stand to try to lighten up. Right, but she was. I think she had just started because she was the most, the worst prepared exotic dancer in the world. Didn't bring her own music or anything. She forgot her titties. She forgot. <laughs> <laughs> one one was kind of one was kind of scooting down a little uh, bit, like uh, you know. Uh, I, know uh, that, uh, down. I mean, it is scooting down. Yeah, it was scooting down. That pussy. So so she decides, or she asks, you know, I didn't bring any music. Can some can somebody get? music and put it on the stereo and Ed was right next to the radio and he goes into like oh, his how was bag to dance to Almond Brothers for fucking eight <laughs> hours <laughs> Ed, Ed pulls out of all things right out of his little CD case the soundtrack to uh, Mortal Kombat <laughs> <laughs> She, she gets in there and like it's Johnny Cage, <laughs> Sub Zero, <laughs> right? I was and I mean everybody was losing it. The, the best part of that whole story was she, you know, she would do the thing and she'd she'd put like the dollar on the nose and everything, and she would pass it to this other guy, and he was supposed to put it in to a bag, like her bag. And she would go back and she would take somebody else's dollar and and give it to him. And he's supposed to put it in the bag. But he actually kept passing around the same like five dollars. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> so she's so like a half an hour later she thinks she made, you know, fucking a hundred dollars and in reality she made like five dollars. Like the oh, same five dollars. Oh, oh, so that's so a beautiful weird. story. That's a beautiful story. It's so she like gets to the car. I've been hoodwinked! <laughs> but, but I mean It's you, not easy to be a <laughs> Almost took her. She was. I mean, she was so terrified. You know, she wasn't coming back in. No, for that uh, money. So, so she now. danced. So she was in the bedroom coma until for forty-five minutes and danced for thirty, and then immediately left. <laughs> she and there was actually uh, uh, Timmy. Uh, yeah, yeah, she, yeah. You guys know Tim. Um, he, uh, it was his birthday, and she stripped him down to his boxers, beat him with a dildo. I mean, it was kind of, it was kind of ridiculous. <laughs> that's, but that's fun. That's was, like, do yeah. you think she rehearses that? <laughs> the uh, beating with the dildo? Yeah. I think that's more improv, right? I think, I think that was off the cuff. Wow. <laughs> what I love about this story is that Meatball told it, and he's also wearing a sticker that says, I love my mommy. <laughs> <laughs> so disgusting. It is, it is, it is uh. Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's also crumpled like you've been wearing it for days. <laughs> oh, that's weird. It's a weird sticker to hear about. But everyone was very nice to the stripper, and Ed was kind to her. And she, yeah. Did Ed make her laugh at all? Uh, I th or cry. Yo, or cry. <laughs> good. Good. Or cry. But it was, uh, it was good. I mean, it was, you know, it was one of those things that you really, uh, you hold on to. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was so great. Great. wonderful. I really love that, man. I can't wait for Ed to listen to this. <laughs> that, is, <laughs> that is probably eat, one of the most. Cheese whiz out of the bottle. You'd be like, I'm so mad. I can't believe that they tell stories about me. I better get my baloney clone. <laughs> oh, baloney. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was so hoping we were going to get an Ed smells like meat He does smell like bologna. It's he bologna, does smell like bologna. It's only That's bologna. <laughs> His bed sheets are just long, thin sheets of ham. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in relation to uh, the story, headline from, once again, Australia... Boy, 11, bombarded with porn on God, sleepover. What is happening? <laughs> Why? What is wrong? First of all, there's no bombardment. If you're an 11-year-old at a sleepover, you, that is just an, uh, a cornucopia of awesomeness. It's a smorgasbord of love. Yeah. That's all it is. I, I got to tell you, being an 11-year-old on a sleepover now is so much better than it was when you had to watch that one channel that kind of came up, in. Yeah, with the and you barely and saw the, some tits. Yeah, 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 and it was just like every once in a while you'd see a nipple pop up in between the different colors. I like Now it. you have know? nine tetrabytes of hardcore pony fucking. <laughs> here's, a, here's what happened. An 11 year old at an overnight party last week, uh, it was turned into a disturbing, confusing nightmare after he was exposed to a b b bombardment of hardcore porn on Bullshit. mobile devices. That was the on mom. mobile device. Like everyone was kid. like, look at the tits. So all these kids that just had iPhones. We're not talking about any adults involved here, are we? I'll no. I'll, I'll tell you what happened there. What? The kid went home, he looked up the same website, the mom caught him, and then he's like, you know, 
know, she's like, where did you see that? Oh, my Mommy God. Mommy, bombarded me yeah. with porn. Yeah, exactly. Oh, <laughs> well, Johnny showed it to me, and blah, blah, blah. Very, he, like, like he, a Christmas story. He threw he gets... Johnny under the bus. Johnny mm-hmm. got beat. I mean, that's kind of, that's probably what happened. Meatball, you are smart. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I see it now. That's that's pretty much how it is. And you know what? I don't think we have anything else to say about that, so let's go to a segment from Holden segment. McNeely. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. segment's yeah. called a segment. Young Entrepreneurs. <laughs> yeah, I've, lo- I've lost uh, all power of speech. <laughs> Young Entrepreneurs. <laughs> so is Holden. So just, is Holden. <laughs> Do you want? Do you want to do it again? Um, your nipples are poking through your shirt. I know. I'm like, are you, no, why are you wearing a white shirt, Holden? My nipples are hard. You have I don't know no why. body. Your nipples are like really close together. Or, yeah. No, oh, they're not. There's that. Actually, they're very far. Yeah, apart. they're far yeah. apart. Yeah, they're I would more walrus eyed. And fucking cat eyed. <laughs> God, you're fucking gross. He is so <laughs> gross. Anyway, let's get to this. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I'm doing my nipple dance. <laughs> no, I. Nani, nini, nini. All right, okay, it's I'll fun. Get this. <laughs> it's disgusting. Young entrepreneurs. <laughs> We're all going to start a business. Um, we're going to explain how uh, we feel that this business will be lucrative. Um, and Marcus will oh. score uh, based on how much profit we'll be making. Like, and the person with the most profit, Jackie, is seizuring out. The person with the most profit. I'm sorry, I'm like sneezing till I die over here. <laughs> I think she's allergic to your segment. My yeah, segment. <laughs> um, all right, so I'll start. Uh, I would do. I, I would do. Uh, I'd have a little kind of almost like a bakery or like a little sort of nice little spot, but it would be uh, potato salad women. I'd make the potato Potatoes. salad women. You can take them home, have your way with them. We'll even have them in man. I mean, you're not going to be able to put the dick in you, really. But you know, yeah. maybe I'll put a rod and cover it in potato salad <laughs> on there, like a metal rod. But really, it would just more be about getting Woman wouldn't want a rod of potato salad inside of them because the chunks would come off. Yeah, it'd be awful, them. right? But you can rub a pot. I don't mean to aid you no, in this. How, no, no, no. Nice. I mean, you I, can't help him. Just go no, she can help him a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, it's, feel, it's a terrible business idea. I feel yeah. that potato salad people? Yeah, I mean, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter what Jackie says at this point. It's a horrible idea. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, 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 help him, I feel please. that well, a vagina rubbing upon chunks covered in mayonnaise could help in an area of getting off, but never Ugh, to the that potential. That's just called doing a Zabrowski. <laughs> <laughs> I'll add the Zabrowski special to my menu. Absolutely. Extra okay, for the Zabrowski special, you have one more dollar. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> All right, Kevin. Oh, oh, I business. Mean, my business would be detachable titties. Portable. You can take them wherever you go. See, this is how I do it. I go into the morgue, freshly dead girls, <laughs> and I cut off the titties, and I sell them. And you yeah. can fill these titties right. with milk. You can fill these titties with honey if you want. Shall and I? you can take them anywhere you want. Ah. Great for, for strippers who forgot the titties. It's beautiful. And uh, honestly, after doing it that way, I have no overhead. This is a great business model. I'm just taking titties. You have to be a serial killer. <laughs> I'm not a serial killer, man. They're already dead. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Oh, that's great. Uh, Jackie, what do you got? What's yours? Oh, jump and chip. Okay. Um, uh, head entrepreneur. So you can cut off the head off of any animal, any Jesus human. Christ, we're too alike, all but, of us. <laughs> uh, the thing is, is that the, the best part of a head is that you can fuck either side of it. Right. So you can fuck the neck, you can fuck the mouth, you can do anything. If it's a chicken, you can like use it as a weapon. Mm. It's literally using any kind of head in any kind of situation. It can be sexual, but can also work to your advantage. You can think of uh, the deer antlers. You can just use yeah. the antlers as a, it's more weapons and sex. Cut her I'm off. thinking weapons and sex. No, I so cut her you, off. The it, pitch is going very well. You're right. Mark it, Cuban's about I, to hire you. I think I think it's all about finding roadkill, cutting off the head, selling that. It's complete profit. You don't have to spend any money on the I animals, like it. and then uh, I think it's complete profit. Or if you find dead people. You cut off their heads and you use it as such. Okay, Ben, what do you got? <laughs> Continue on, Jack. I would like to I, hear well, more Jack. I was jumped. I was still thinking. I'm sorry. I have no idea. I figured, well, I, I jumped him because he didn't have any idea. I never have an idea. I suck at segments. Everybody meatball, fucking knows meatball, you got, you got it. You got one, right? I, I actually, this, I think this is a pretty, a pretty legitimate good. All right. Uh, you know, you guys ever hear of uh, uh, what are those stoplight parties? 
You know yeah. those? You know, okay, you know the stop what? party where you wear different colors like red, yellow, green. Right, right. Whatever you're wearing, it's like whether you want to fuck or not. Or yeah, you know. green means I'm single, I'm ready to fuck. Yellow means neighbors, <laughs> and uh, red means uh, don't touch me, don't ever fuck. Why me. are you at a stoplight party? Why would you go there? Interesting. I, well, I mean, yeah. Eddie would wear green, but everyone would treat him like he was wearing red. You could, you could be the enforcer <laughs> he's so friend. Fat and you dumb. could, you could be the enforcer <laughs> friend wearing red. You know what I mean? Or yeah. yeah. yeah so, um, so what I was thinking is, if you had an app, and by the way, if anybody takes this idea. I'm coming after you because I think this is pretty good. Yeah, so you had, yeah, you'll find them. So you have you have an app that uh, basically people can put all of their whatever you know their sexual anything. It's all anonymous, right? But they put it onto this profile, and then when they go out at night, they choose their color. Right, so then when they get to the, you know, so if you're like, you know, a group of guys like, oh shit, I, you know, we're all horny and we have nowhere idea where to go. What are we gonna do? Right, then they look at this you map. Go find the greens. They look at this map and they find the greens of all the chicks that want to like blow dudes or you know get anal or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Right, get anal or blow that's dudes. Actually, that's a really actual, that's a What's good that, idea. Yeah. I mean, it's grinder. sort of like grinder and stuff like that. Well, grinder is the, the gay, is the gay so. equivalent, but then there's uh, OK Cupid sort of doing that, but with the colors and stuff, I think you got something. And that's yeah, new. Right. It's cause yeah. You add that color, and it's like, oh, because everyone's like, oh, where do you want to go tonight? And know. they want it to be as easy as possible, too. You want exactly. to look at a map and see it. See exactly. a bunch of green dots or blue dots, meaning you want to get blown, but only in the dark while it's crying. It's called prostitution. It's highly illegal, and no one's going to fucking no, do no, it. No, 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 no money. No, 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 see, there's this, no money. All this Whores is, are working for free. Wait. Wait. <laughs> 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 all this, all this is okay. Is basically someone's. It, I'm, I'm giving you a better chance. I'm saying I can get you laid if you give me a dollar. I'll give you a fifty percent better chance. I'll get you laid. Thank would you, you pay that? Would you pay that dollar? <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Nah. Fuck that. Your business is meatballs, meatballs, and your slogan <laughs> is Ed's fat. <laughs> For me eating all the meatballs, meatballs. <laughs> all right, Henry, what do you got for us? See, I thought of this before, before everything else started. This is what we do. All right? <laughs> Listen to me. Let me weave you a tale. All right? <laughs> what do people like? What do people like in their living room? Uh, like a living room? No, no, TV. I'm going to answer that fucking question for you. Lamps. A big, comfy chair. This okay. is what we do. All right? <laughs> all you need is one product. All right? Makes the whole business. You dig up. I'm bored already. Listen, <laughs> I'm just... Letting this settle in. Listen to the silence of the room. Uh, uh, Pretty good. Dig up George Washington's bones. Make them into a chair. Sell the chair for $35 billion. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, someone has to buy the chair. Someone you, will buy the chair. What do you yeah. sell after that? You just have a normal furniture business you after that? You take the money and you flip it. And what, you flip it. Or yeah, flip it into what? Flip you flip it, it into a money-making company. Uh, what are the logistics of digging up the bones? You find where the bones are. You dig them You're up. You're going and to you get arrested. Take, but I think it's yeah. That. I think it's no. hard to do. I mean, he's in a coffin. You got to like go through yeah. a whole bunch of secret service. And then you're and shit. a grave robber for life. No, and for then they, one they time. Know it. No, but they know you're a grave robber because you, you market it as George Washington's bones. Yeah, like, but the so whole time I always wink about it. They're George <laughs> Washington's bones. So uh-huh. then it's fake and <laughs> then why would anyone wink. pay them up? No, no, because I will tell the real billionaires. The ones who, because the thing, I'm not marketing to the everyday man. I'm marketing only to billionaires. I send a letter in a, scro- a parchment scroll to every billionaire. $35,000. I feel like it's a little... Uh, $35 billion. Oh, billion. 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 Yeah. What you do is and you, and you, you set up a, a, a thing with a bunch of billionaires... All into networks say you all buy the chair together, and then you can share the chair. But who would do that? It's like a dumb time. Corrupt. Chair. You're sort of assuming that there's like billionaire. a clan billionaire. of billionaires. All right, right. Ben. 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 Do you, ben, do you have I'm an right, idea? I'm a billionaire. I don't have an idea. I'm terrible at ideas. All right. Well, I'm, I'm going to say demon. I would like to. I would like to rent out demons, things of that nature, to uh, convert people. Into, oh, into like a, a Daffy room. Duck in the um, uh, Ghost Quack Buster. Yeah, Quackbuster. Like yeah, a yeah. Quackbuster. Yes. You had a great experience this week, Kevin, with a demon. Thank you. You are welcome. My service. I provided it. You numb the person for. For up to three minutes at a time, you haunt over them, you say something about tits, and then you casually <laughs> leave the room after they go to sleep, completely appeased with their own mind. Oh, so you just want to be a priest. Basically. <laughs> but that would be the service. I suppose to some degree it would help folks fall asleep faster with the help and the service of a nice demon creature discussing tits and uh, the ins and outs of assholes. All right. All right. Well, uh, here is the prophet here is the prophet report. Did I win? Uh no. <laughs> but Fucking shit. Okay, we're going to start at the bottom and go up, as we always do. Henry, (sighs) stupid idea. No, you're a fucking... You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. Zero. 
dollars. No one with sitting in the chair, Henry. Zero you're not going to make dollars. any money with Say bye bye to the chair, Henry. Henry. You're never going to see Henry ever again because he's going to be a billionaire. A 35 <laughs> billionaire. Soon. I highly uh, doubt it. Next up, Holden, four dollars. I wasn't the last though. What in the world? Why are we You're playing for no last. money? We're like a stripper that went to hang out with Eddie. <laughs> then nine dollars. Thank you for nine dollars. I appreciate yeah. that. That's better. That's it great. is better than Holden, and it's definitely better than Henry's dumb idea. Jackie, seventy-three dollars. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's Not more than last, nine. Nowhere near it. Fuck you guys. Thirty-five billion dollars. One sale is all it takes. Yeah, but no one's buying it. Yeah, no one's buying it. <laughs> no one's going to buy it. It's not going to happen. You're all thinking small. None of you are real Americans. <sighs> well, <laughs> all right, whatever. and so now it is between Kevin and Meatball. Both of you have very, very strong business models. I like them both. I really do. I, mean, like, I, I understand what was where you're going. Again? Kevin's was uh, dead titties. Oh, well, everyone loves dead titties. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and Meatball? As much as I like your idea, <laughs> I think what's going to happen is that immediately everyone on uh, Stoplight is going to figure out that everyone else on Stoplight is unfuckable. Yep. Because <laughs> <laughs> they don't got KB's dead titties. Well, <laughs> and, which, and your business is worth... $4,500. Kevin's business worth $5,067. You're the winner. Oh, oh, snap. It was a close game. Wow, it's dead fine. Titties. It was I a know close game. It's not wrong. I know what I'm being. I'm a you know. I, I think if it they, maybe if they were high glossed, I could kind of see. You know, like high gloss, shellac. High gloss titties? Yeah, like high yeah, People, yeah, you yeah. need to shut yeah. the fuck up, you loser. <laughs> Kevin, Actually, do you have anything that you want to say about your big, fat, dead titty biz? Hey. Buy them dead titties today. Call 1 800 dead portable titties. That's too many. No. <laughs> <laughs> 1 800 dead tits works. Ah, Listen, yeah. don't tell me how to run my business. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget you want like a true entrepreneur. The old man dealing Kevin Barnett. Thanks for sitting in for fat, and dumb Ed. We may not be here <laughs> this whole time. Oh, I smell baloney. He is so fat and he is so dumb. <laughs> and me, love. Thanks for being here, buddy. <laughs> me, love. <laughs> whatever, meat card, whatever the fuck your name is, meatball. meatball. Oh, thank, 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 thank you for having me. Thank I'm sorry. You. Meatloaf is not good. All right. <laughs> I, I appreciate <laughs> it. Anything for Eddie. love. Eddie, will you take us out? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, All right, I'm oh. done. That's <laughs> 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 just Ed sitting watching a movie. I'm telling you, it's too true. The other night I was just like, man, why are you snoring? Your he eyes has are a open. Deviated septum, right? He's got and, a problem. And one more thing, British listeners, write in and tell us how we did. <laughs> they love it. Who gives a fuck? Cave Comedy Radio at gmail.com. Oh, God damn.